after we have learned how to get data from Firebase Firestore in that lesson we're going to learn how to post data or to save data in our database so now let's try to add a new category with those categories to do that we need to create a function const for example add category equals to Firestore dot collection we need to add here the collection name we can get the collection name for from our firebase that's our firebase go to console select our project and press firestore database that's the collection name categories so let's copy it and paste it here okay we, need, we, have, we have a method called add. Inside this method, we just add an object. Inside that object, we just add the properties. For example, the title and image URL. Okay, the title is going to be meals or big meals. Okay, and with image URL, as we see here, image URL let's add that link this image link let's copy it and paste it here and let's press save and let's add a, a dummy button right now it will be a dummy button but in next lesson we're gonna learn how to create a screen to handle this process this process using input okay so now let's add just a, a test button let's add it here button title to add category and when we press that button on press on add let's copy the function name add category and now let's try to press here let's press add category and let's scroll to see our new category now we have it here category with big meals and with that image that we have bought let's try to add another one for example let's try with that image okay so let's, let's copy that image URL and let's go here let's change the title to be vegetables vegetables and the image URL is gonna be that link and let's press save and let's press add category when we press add category now we have our vegetables here so now we have the, our our previous category and we have added a big meal category and vegetables category and in firebase we can see we have added new two collections now let's try to add a food we have here a four items of food let's try to add a food okay so now let's create a function like that const add food equals to fire store dot collection and we have to select the right name of collection and the right name is food okay let's copy that collection name dot add and let's add a new object and see what we need to add here we need to add the price and image URL and the title. Make sure we have to add it like those keys. Look here, image URL, price, rate, and title. Okay, now let's add them. Image URL. Let's use that image. Okay. Title. It's gonna be fish with salad. Price is gonna be nine point twenty. When you need no need to add the rate right now. Okay, let's copy that add food function and create a new button here to add food. Let's add it up here after main dishes. So let's add a new button with title add food. And when we press on it, 
just paste the function add food okay so now let's try to add food we have here uh, four items let's add food great we have here fish with salad has been added and it has been added also in our firebase so now let's try we have an important note we have to do and it's how to handle errors we have to call back two methods then and catch then return us the, pro the response and we can do something here okay and dot catch if we have an error he can log us our error so now if you face any error when adding food you can log it here and you can also create alerts for example alert dot alert food added and here alert for alert error happen okay let's give it a try and let's add some, let's add food let's change the image url let's use that the big meal or hamburger so let's use it burger eight dollars with that image url and let's press save and now let's try to add food food edit and let's scroll now we have your burger and we have here another burger that we have just added right here that was our lesson today how to add or to post data to firebase in next lesson we're gonna make that we're gonna remove those two ugly buttons and we're gonna add a model with inputs to allow user adding food in our app using the inputs and using the inputs so wait for the next lesson and don't forget subscribe and hit the like button